uh, it's been raining for four days in a row. Couldn't film. It's finally beautiful and sunny. And uh, I'm going to make, this will be the fourth time in six days I've eaten this. That's how good it is. I can't get enough of it. It's, uh, it's an Asian chicken wrap and it's awesome. It's delicious and it's simple. Like it's so easy. I'm just talking now just to extend the video. That's how easy it is. Oh, I want to tell you about this. I, see, I waited to tell this story. I didn't tell him he's been here an hour about this shirt. This shirt, check this out. I bought this in 1993 at my first Black Crows concert in San Diego. Four years before you were born. Think about that, 27 years ago. Got this shirt, Black Crows, it's still holding up. I just thought it was a cool shirt and I saw it in the closet. I'm like, it smells like mothballs, but I don't care. All right, so what I'm gonna do is this. I've got the, the dressing that I used the last three times I've eaten this. I'm not kidding you, this in six, I ate it Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, today's Saturday, four times in six days. Here we go. Guess what, I forgot something. You know what I forgot? Recipe. Guess what? No, I didn't. It was in my pocket. <laughs> buddy of mine, if you look at the comments, buddy of mine from New York, he says, he says the show should be called, wait, I forgot something. <laughs> All right, this is the one, this, this, this first, is the uh, recipe that I've that I that I've been eating all week. Three tablespoons of olive oil. The uh, recipe will be in the comments. Three tablespoons. One. Two. Three. You know I'm a freak about measuring. Uh, one tablespoon sesame oil. And then a quarter cup of rice wine vinegar. Quarter cup of rice vinegar. And three tablespoons of honey. That I'm gonna eyeball because putting it in a tablespoon and trying to get honey out of this, that's what we call a pain in the ass. So, one, two, three. All right, tablespoon of soy sauce. You can just use a Kiko Mans too, whatever, whatever you can get. All right, a clove of garlic. It's my new uh, little garlic presser presser. There you go. A tablespoon of ginger. Remember that, uh, last time I did it? I did where you take it with a spoon and you peel it like this. Mm -hmm. Remember? Mm -hmm. This time I'm just going to cut it off. Pop this up. Oh my God, I got so much. I got the worst table in the world and nine million things of glass on here. We need a studio or something. Oh, you know what we need? We need subscribers. Subscribers. <laughs> hit the subscribe, hit the ding-a-ling, ding, ding, ding button. Like it. <laughs> tablespoon of ginger. I'm gonna go, well, I mean, this is a tablespoon, so I'd say you know about that a little bit more. There we go. There's that. A little salt. I'm gonna put a little pepper in there. Bada bing, bada boom, that's it. How simple is that, right? Super, super simple, right? Mm -hmm. It's so flipping tasty. I can't even I can't even put into words how good this is. So with my really clean fingers. Oh look, it's it's, it's even a little emulsified. Let me taste. Oh my God, that's so good. It's so good. I can't even take it. I can't even take how good that is. It's not cook this, but make this. It's so good and it's so simple. All right, so here's what I do. So what I did is after I made, after I made this, uh, it's basically a vinaigrette, uh, mix it up. I just put it in a Tupperware container. I can just leave it in the fridge and I can use that anytime I want. So I'm just gonna do that. All right, so now I'm gonna make my, uh, Basically my slaw that I'm gonna put into it, a little crunchy, crunchy. This is called sunrise slaw. If you get a look at that, 
lately what I've been doing, because I've been lazy, is I just get this sunrise slaw. I like it because it has more carrot. All it is is broccoli slaw with more carrot. But broccoli slaw is fine. All right, this is for me and you. So I'm gonna make double what I normally put in, because I'm gonna make two of these. So you put this stuff in here, right? And that's gonna be tough to toss, but I'm an idiot. You just come back, and you just put, throw this in here, and you toss, okay? We'll use, I don't know, that much for right now. Toss with my recently washed hands. Jesus, H on a popsicle stick. You see how that's kind of tossed a little bit? I'm gonna put one more little spoonful in there. A little drizzle, 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 drizzle. And one more. A little drizzle, 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 drizzle. Let that hang out while we cook the chicken. On the chicken, I've got a piece that I just pounded out. Whenever I cook chicken, I always pound it out. All right, so I'm just gonna salt and pepper one side of this. Presentation side, which is the top, always put that side down first. That's hot as hell. I'm just gonna salt and pepper one side because there's, uh, what's that stuff called? The soy sauce, and that's pretty salty. And so I'm gonna go a little heavy on the pepper. Jesus, that's hot, Jesus! Okay, that's good. The ice was getting all nutty, I had to slam it. Let's check the chicken. All right, it's getting there. I don't know why I'm putting cross marks on it. I'm gonna cut it up anyways, just cause I'm a freak like that. Oh. I am excited. I just got this today. So you know the um, Thermapen? Have you heard of that? So all the barbecuers, they use a Thermapen, right? It's a, it's a pen to check temperature. Pull, it, it gives you an instant read within two, three seconds, right? Same company, but they're like between 99 and 129 bucks, okay? Exact same company makes a Thermapop. So instead of two to three seconds of getting an instant read, it's four to five seconds and out the door with shipping and everything is 40 bucks. So instead of 130 with shipping, probably been 140, save 100 bucks on this one, same company, and all I gotta do is wait two seconds longer. And when you let stuff rest, do this. I don't care if it's a steak or if it's chicken or, what, or, or pork or whatever, any poultry, grab yourself a sheet pan, put a rack on it, and put your protein on, and then cover it with foil and uh, what that does, it won't, it won't sit in its own juices and get it all oogie and stuff, you know what I mean? Especially if you got a nice, like this, like this chicken, it'll be nice and you don't want it sitting in its own juices and whatnot. So you put it on a, you put it on a, on a rack in a sheet pan. I think that side's done. Do a little flipper roux. Oh, doesn't that look pretty? I'm just gonna cut it up. You don't need it to look pretty, but if you were just gonna serve it like that, then that's why you put the uh, presentation side down first. Ow, shit, ow. I can't see. 164, ow, son of a gun. I wanted to take it off at 160, ow, ow. 163, ow. It's done, it's done. So, so now we just need to figure out what type of tortilla to use, right? So I've got these uh, burrito sized tortillas because I'm starving and so is the boy. And so I'm gonna make two of them out of this. Here we go. With my very clean fingers that I just washed. I put some chicken down. Seems like a lot. I think it's a lot. It's probably too much. I don't care. Now, there's the uh, slaw. That seems like a lot too, doesn't it? Oh well. Oh, the key? This is absolute key. If you don't have chow mein noodles, don't even make this. Like. This crunch and this, you have to have this. The chow mein noodles. It's a must. You got to have that crunch in there. I thought that the slaw would give it enough crunch that I wouldn't uh, need it, but you, you, it's a must. So here we go. Bring this in as tight as we can. Okay. Bring this over. Bring this over. Wrap it up as tight and tight and tight as we can. There we go. OK. 
Can you get that? Is that a good shot? All right. I already know this is awesome because I've had it the last four days. What I normally do, but I don't have it and I'm not going to go get it, I usually squirt a, a squirt of sriracha on this because I'm a sriracha nut. But here we go. Haha, <laughs> that's so good. I can't get enough of it. Four out of six days I've had this. And it just hasn't get old, gotten old. And I'm not kidding you. The chow mein noodles are key. That's that crunch. I'm gonna leave the rest of this for my boy. I'm done.